first of all, thank you to the person that sent me these props. I would not have gotten around to it for a while. Um, somebody just messaged me and said, I'm having these props sent to your house. Please give them a shot. Give them a try. I've been meaning to try these props for a while, and I can't find that chat window so that I can tell you guys who it was. But thank you very much to that person. So this is the APC 5x3.7x3 prop. And this is a very interesting prop. I haven't tried a lot of APC. So APC is a company that makes really highly engineered props. And they do a great job. They make fantastic products. But in the mini quad market, they make props for every single application I can imagine. But in the mini quad market, their props tend to be more specialty oriented, I guess. Not oriented. That's just what people are using them for. Like for speed runs, people tend to use APC props because they're so stiff. The material is so hard, it doesn't deform at high RPM. So it's really nice for speed runs. However, for general use, racing or acro, they're not, they haven't really been the most popular. Maybe because of the durability, maybe because of the price. They're a little bit more expensive than other general props. However, this prop, a little bit different. It's still a little bit expensive, but it's got a material that seems pretty durable. And it is a lot more durable than traditional APC props. It's also a lot stiffer than most polycarbonate props that I've tried, which is super interesting. So <clears throat> this prop, this APC prop is 3.8 grams. This T-Motor 5143 prop is also 3.8, 3.7 grams. So these two props have the same amount of weight. However, the T-Motor prop is looks like it has a lot less plastic in it and I would call this prop very not durable and by comparison this prop would seem like it's a lot more durable however I've had very similar durability experiences between these two props but it's interesting to see that this prop looks like it has a lot more material in it but it weighs the same so I'm assuming they're using some sort of mix of material that has given them ability to use more material and still keep the prop very light and as a result the prop is very very responsive and it's not as responsive as the s3 blade the hq s3 blade but it's among some of the most responsive props in the five inch tri-blade category grip is also excellent speed is also excellent excellent power is also excellent there is a bit of a hump of power down in the low throttle range which is a little bit annoying for me very similar to the hq 5.1 by 4.1 by 3 but it's not so bad. It is relatively smooth. You can work through it. Overall, the prop performs surprisingly well. Like I said, really good grip, pretty darn good response, really good power. It does lack in efficiency. And that's one part where I'm gonna to try to make a comment, but I, I don't, I'm not really qualified to make this kind of a comment anymore since these props are all very highly engineered now. Of the props I've tried in the past, the props that have this thick scoop in the middle, this really drastic scoop in the middle of the blade here, they tend to suck more amps than I would like. And that goes true for the Avan blades, uh, even the Flow, Flow Avan Flow blade, which a lot of people say are really efficient. I found them to be not efficient at all. Um, it might be efficient for the Avan Flow, but any prop that I've tried with this drastic scoop in the middle, which I've taken a very close note of as well, tend to suck more amps than I would like. And by comparison, the HQ blades all generally have a very swoopy, very transitional, like, gullwing shape. That tends, the HQ props just tend to be more efficient than most other props. I don't know if this is what's attributing it to that efficiency, but it it is something that I've noticed, so I'm gonna point it out. Uh, aside from that, the durability of the prop is a lot better than other APC blades, a lot better. I mean, this material is, is fully polycarbonate. It is a lot better. However, again, having this drastic scoop in the middle and this really, like, it's hard to show, but th there's a pre it's a pretty drastic, like, shelf off the middle. It makes, it, it gives the prop a crease point to break and bend on. And what I found was it did crash it a couple times and it does bend right on that crease point. And the material is such that when it does bend, you can bend it back. I'm going to bend it for you here. You can bend it back, but it also deforms in the bend. Like, it's, de it's completely deformed. So when you bend it back, it's not, you can see, it's like stretched on top. It'll never go back to the original shape perfectly. It will work. It'll work fine, but it'll never go back to the original shape. And if you do bend it right here at the at the root at the knuckle you pretty much have no chance of getting it back because that's such a it's such a thick the material is so thick in that area that it's 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 actually stretched the outer piece of pla outer area of the plastic so when you do bend it back 
it's just completely deformed. You'll never get that crease out of there. It'll always be like that forever more for the rest of the life of this prop. And it does also break right here in this root. I broke like three of them in this root area. So durability is a lot better, definitely. However, whatever mix of plastic they're using is not maybe the best mix of plastic in order for it to maintain its durability. By comparison, when you look at HQ blades or uh, this team motor blade or gem fan blades, you can bend them all up and you can actually bend them back almost perfectly with no creases or anything. And it's, it's if you are into bending your props back, it's really, really nice to have that ability. And it also makes the prop more resilient to flexes and bends and all that such. So overall really nice prop by apc it's still a little bit expensive i would like to see it with um i just i would like to see an iteration on this prop just like smooth out that middle area i don't know if they can improve the material because it, the material performs really well in the air but it's um questionable with respect to durability and other things but i think they are designing this more to fly rather than to crash i'd also like to see the prop in a 5.1 inch which tends to be you know the in thing right now i i feel a difference with 5.1 inch props definitely they do seem to give me more efficiency especially the hq 5.1 by 4.1 by 3 this prop is insanely efficient and insanely quiet for what it is so uh, it would be nice to see an iteration on this prop so good job apc and what actually stemmed my interest to start looking into props again was the s3 blade uh, when I tried this blade, I was really surprised at how incredibly responsive it is. And so what I did was I started talking to all the other manufacturers regarding prop materials because the biggest issue with HQ has been trying to replicate the material or replicate the function of the old glass nylon material, which is traditionally known to be pretty much glass because if you touch a blade of grass, this thing just shatters apart. So all their new props are made of the new polycarbonate material, which uh, is good, but it's also a lot more flexible and it just has very, very different flight properties. So I spoke to Gemfan and they also, I don't know, I, AW, I don't remember who made the original 5x4 blade, this blade design. It's a, 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 w, C, a, w, oh, man, I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, whoever made it, uh, Gemfan and HQ and a bunch of other, comp com other companies copied that blade and then started making it polycarbonates and various other versions. What Gemfan had done is they I think HQ might have been the first person to make it a tri-blade, but what Gemfan did was they actually made it in a multitude of different materials that I didn't know, I wasn't aware of. So I asked them, send me all of your different materials that you've made this prop in. I'd love to give them a try. I'd love to see how they function, how different they are. So I, I was talking to Mr. Steele about the, the glass nylon blade, and he was saying that from batch to batch, the HQ prop would change. Interesting to note. So even though I'm gonna be trying, I tested a whole bunch of different materials, it may not be the case that they're performing the same as something you might buy. So starting off with the HQ um, glass nylon tri-blade, this prop is tried and true, it's really good. Of all the props I'm going to show, this is the stiffest one of all the props, which is, well, aside from the, the this, aside from the HQ 5.1 by 4.1 and the, um, APC blade, all the other 5.4x3 blades, this is the stiffest one, definitely. However, it's not the best one, surprisingly. I was really surprised to see that this isn't the best one. So, you're watching the, the this orange prop fly now, the HQ 5.1, sorry, HQ 5x4x3, the original glass nylon, the OG prop. This prop flies amazing, super creamy, has a really raspy sound to it, really good throttle response, really good speed, really good grip. Everything about this prop is really good. So how could it get better? How could things change? Well definitely does change so the first thing i tried was the fray blue prop or fairy blue prop so i don't know if a lot of you remember him but phil Freybot was um one of the original bunch of fpv pilots and he was pretty popular back in the day but i think that he gave up fpv and went back to male modeling because he was a male model um i haven't seen him in a while nobody i don't know if anybody's really heard from him in a while but before he left lumineer made him a made a a motor for him. It was the original plasma motor, I think, that I, I ever saw. And um, Gemfan made this prop for him and labeled it after his name. I don't know if they made it for him, but they just rebranded it for him. <laughs> it's the Frey Blue or Fairy Blue prop, prop. It is a glass nylon prop, just like the HQ prop. However, it is much more flexible than the HQ prop. Much, much more flexible than the HQ prop. And I can't quite show you on camera, but the pitch of this prop is also a little bit less. It looks like it's a little bit less 
The difference between this prop and the HQ prop in flight is that it just doesn't have the same bite as the HQ prop and it's not quite as fast and I, that's probably because of the pitch of the prop. I don't know how the pitch changes. I don't know if they change these molds from prop to prop. I doubt it. So maybe it's something about the plastic or something. Whatever it is, this prop is not good. It's, it's not quite the same as the HQ prop. However, the response is still good, but it doesn't quite have the same speed, power, grip, control as the HQ Glass 9 5 x 4 x 3 The next prop that I moved to was this one. This is the black, <clears throat> the black, I'm just going to call it black, um, 5 x 4 x 3 by, by Gemfan. And um, this prop is definitely stiffer than the Frey Blue prop. Definitely stiffer. However, I'm pretty sure it has the same pitch on the prop. It, it looks like the same pitch. And it has very much the same, same attributes as the Frey Blue prop. It doesn't quite have the speed. It has, it has a, maybe a little bit more speed, has a little bit more bite, but not quite the same speed as the HU prop. However, the response of this prop is better. Like the Frey Blue prop, the response of this prop is better than the HU prop. So that was pretty interesting to note. Not a bad prop, but I would still prefer the HQ prop over both of these props. None of them are durable at all, so don't even, it's not even worth talking about those. So then I tried the polycarbonate version of the 5x4x3 by uh, Gemfan, and um, this prop sucks. It just straight up sucks. It, there's nothing good about this prop. It doesn't have good grip. It doesn't have good, well, there's one thing good about the prop. It doesn't break. It's the most durable prop of the bunch, including probably the, the 5x4, the HU 5.1 by 4.1 prop. However, it sucks at grip. It sucks at speed. It sucks at everything. And also, it seems to screw up anti-gravity. I didn't even know this about props, but apparently the various props that you use will give you more or less dipping. In, I don't know if you can tell in the flying, but when I pump the throttle, there's dipping in the quad when there's none in this quad with any of the other props. And also when I let off the gas, there's more of a wobble in the air as it's floating compared to all the other props. Maybe it's just the noise profile of this prop, who knows, but not a good prop, wouldn't recommend it. Then I moved to this prop, this red prop. And this is when it got really interesting. So this prop, it's definitely more flexible than the HQ prop, definitely more flexible. It's also more flexible than the black variant of the Gemfan 5x4x3 prop. However, it's not quite as flexible as the Frey Blue prop. Is really, I can't show this on camera. You just, you, you just gotta take my word for it. This is definitely the best prop of the bunch. This prop flew better than anything. And you can tell immediately in my flying that I'm more confident, I have more control, I could do everything easier with this prop. And I'm, I'm, I'm really shocked to say that. The flexibility of this prop is probably closer to the polycarbonate props than the HQ glass nylon 5x4x3. However, the response is better than the HQ prop, the grip is better than the HQ prop, the speed is about the same, maybe not quite as much, maybe just about the same, but the throttle control is better and the noise is better, and it's even a little bit more efficient. I think I got a little bit more, I've tried like three packs on this prop, and, and I, got a I think I got a little bit more flight time. I felt like I was flying for longer. Maybe, maybe not. Whatever it is, I've tried this prop now on four quads, and it definitely feels better than the HQ prop, which I've also tried on a bunch of other quads. So, really impressed that this random red, whatever the material mix is from Gemfan, is better than all the other mixes. However, the durability still suffers. It's more durable, than the other glass nylon props, but it's still not quite even, not quite, it's not even in the same ballpark as a polycarbonate prop. So then after that, I tried the T-Motor 5143 yet again to compare it to all the rest. And I'm always really impressed at the envelope of function of this prop. It has a really wide envelope of function. It is really, really soft down low. It's really good response. It uh, has some real speed to it when you do punch it. The efficiency is good, however, it's not the best, definitely isn't the best. It does suck amps when you do go fast, and again, I attribute that to probably this, this scoop in the middle. However, if they lost that scoop on this prop, I bet it would, it would not do anything anymore because the prop is so skinny that I, I'm not so sure this stuff on the outside does all that much at high speed. I think it's all flattening out, and it's also very, very flexible. So. It definitely doesn't have the same, it has good response, but it doesn't have as sharp of a response as the glass nylon props, definitely, definitely not. However, it is a great prop, it was my mainstay of a prop for a long, long time until the S3 prop came out. And it is better than the S3 prop in many ways, it is definitely faster. The durability, it's 
hard to say. All these props are not very durable. I would say maybe the T-Motor prop might be a little bit more durable only because the, the plastic is more resiny and it feels like it's more resilient when you hit stuff. It doesn't just dent and chip away like the HUS 3 blade. Now let's take a look at the HUS 3 blade. So this prop, I've talked about this a lot. This is a really amazing prop because of how incredibly responsive it is. It is by far the most responsive prop that I've tried in 5-inch tri-blade category. It really, really is incredible response. And that response gives you the ability to fly really, really smooth, really accurate, low to the ground. You can do things really accurately. However, the prop does suffer in a couple of areas. The durability is good. It's not it's not the best, but it's, it's good. It's good enough for freestyle. It's not going to break if you if you slap a tree or something. It, it also doesn't crack. This blade doesn't crack, so that's good. It's just going to bend around and that means you can still fly home. However, where it lacks is in speed. It doesn't have the speed of any of the other props that I've shown so far. You can give it more and more KV and it will go faster and faster. However, it is still limited in speed. So that's really its main downfall. It's also not quite as efficient as some of the other props. It is a five inch prop. It does have relatively small blades and it's a very, very shallow pitch. So you do have to give it more throttle to do things. And that the more, th I'm going to have another video on efficiency and why things are efficient or not efficient, but just know that the efficiency of this prop is not all that great. And last, let's just go over the HU 5.1 by 4.1 by 3 prop yet again, because this prop is really, it has the widest envelope of function that I've seen in any prop today. It runs great on 4S on a 6S quad. It runs great on 6S on a 6S quad. It runs great no matter what you do with it. It has incredible efficiency. It has incredible low noise. It just sounds like a vacuum cleaner when you fly this prop. However, it doesn't have the response of all of the other props. It lacks in response and it's really sad to say that because everything else about this prop is really stellar. It has amazing grip, has amazing overall performance. It does have a little bit too much of a, of a throttle bump down at the bottom. It makes too much power too quickly down at the low RPM, but that's not that bad either. It can also be managed very easily. It's really an overall, all around excellent prop. I go through all these props regularly now. I, I have like tons and tons of them and I'll just kind of swap them out willy-nilly and see what the differences are, see what I like, what I don't like on various other quads, try to get more of a feeling for them. Uh, all of this interest in props was once again stimulated by the S3 prop because it was so freaking responsive and um, I still don't know which prop I would choose if I was to stick with one prop. I go between all of them. The primary props that I would, I would use, it's going to be primarily the S3 blade, and then it would be the HQ 5.1 by 4.1 blade. And then maybe sometimes I've run out of those blades, I'll use the T-Motor still. T-Motor prop is really still an excellent prop, and it does have better efficiency than the S3 blade. But um, yeah, it's still it's still a toss-up. These are, these are all great props. And of all of them, this red prop is still the best one. Again, the differences between these props are not major. They're not massive differences, except for the APC prop, this uh, HQ 5.1 by 4.1 prop, as well as the T-Motor prop. These are actually very different. But of the 5 by 4 by 3s, the differences are not major. However, you can definitely tell a difference. And in flight, those minor differences match your fingers and your brain and how you move better. And that's what this red prop did for me. I, I don't know what it is, but you know, that is a good prop. So, so maybe GemFed should consider using it for something else. However, the durability sucks, so I don't know. HQ is working on a, a, a rendition or an iteration of the S3 prop, which will hopefully be a little bit better, give us a little bit more speed back, maintain the responsiveness, and um, give us maybe a teeny bit of efficiency back, and that would be amazing. So that's it. Lots more to come. Don't forget to floss your teeth. Bye.